Hey everybody, it's me. It's Sally. And I'm making a video because it is my 18 month surge anniversary. Woohoo! Uh, I just wanted to say something about maintenance. That six months ago, even eight months ago, I was really scared going into maintenance. I had anxiety. Pretty much, you know, you have anxiety about not losing it fast enough the first six to nine months. You're like, oh, oh, what if it stops before I finish? Oh. And then when you finally get to a point, you think, well, this is enough weight and your body stops of its own accord. Um, as long as you follow the rules and eat right and do your exercise. Um, then you will start to worry about regain because no one explains to you why people have regain. I still don't think anyone's ever told me why there's regain that that I assumed regain was a metabolic resistance disorder issue that, oh, you know, once you absorb all your calories again, even if I'm only eating freaking lentils, <laughs> that I would gain weight. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. I'm not worried about it anymore. It's just six months past my one year anniversary. And I have gone from probably... My three pound range, I found that once I hit goal, you have a three pound range. I go up or down three pounds. And it was like 233 was my lowest and to 236, okay, in November. And now it's, no, one, 133 to 136. Oh my God, I can't even believe that. One, now it's 129, 128 and a half to 131. So, I'm not doing anything different than I've always done. I just could take my pack off when I reached a goal weight. I didn't have to feel anxious or worried anymore about failing because I'd reached a, a plenty enough weight loss, uh, about 120 pounds of weight loss. I wear a size four pants, which I just did in the last two months. I just decided to go buy some and try them on. I, I, I didn't want to go there for a long time. So I've been wearing sixes much longer than I probably needed to. But that is neither here nor there. What matters is are you comfortable in your own skin? Are you happy with where you got to? And how are you going to live the rest of your life so that this never comes back? And I can tell you for me, it's keep the crap still out of your house. It's like being an alcoholic and not having alcohol in your house. If you have a chip issue, don't have chips in your house. If you have a sweets issue, don't surround yourself with pastry and cookies and cake. Don't do it. Not for you, not for anybody. Um, and if the people that love you love you, they will understand. Um, I have ice cream when I go out somewhere. We were on vacation. We went into some kind of little ice cream shop, and I saw mocha chocolate, macadamia nut, something, something. And I got a child scoop. A child scoop. That was my treat. It was probably 300 freaking calories. Well, okay. Well, so what? It was my vacation. And... But that was it. If I'd had it in my house, I would have eaten a half a gallon of it. I, I, you know, that's the difference. That's the difference. You can still succeed in maintenance. There is no obligatory regain. There probably will be more regain in the next six months because my metabolism will absorb. No, my body will absorb all the calories that I eat. There's no magic time frame for when our body decides to absorb all the calories that we eat with R and Y, you know, we have that window of time. They say is a honeymoon period where you only absorb half or whatever portion of the calories you consume, your body will um, absorb. Um, that will come back full force. You'll absorb every calorie that you eat at a certain point, but who knows when that point is? And there ain't no blood test to tell you when it's turned itself back on. Um, when your little filials have regrown to absorb everything that passes by them. You know, your vitamins, you'll never reabsorb those. So you have to do your vitamins forever. So um, anyway, I just wanted people not to worry about regain. And um, I wanted to say that I had a good vacation. Well, I won't say I had a good vacation. It was a visit. It was a family visit to my daughter who lives in Desert Hot Springs, California. And there were definitely some stressors. And I would have loved to have seen some of my friends when I was out there. But She's a rather hard-headed, demanding child, and she's much like her mother, and like two queen bees in the same nest, and uh, the hive was, it was a little tense there for about a week, 
But um, I just wanted to say I wish I could have seen some people, but it wasn't possible. And it was an exhausting trip emotionally, and then at the very end I got sick. It was 100 degrees in Palm Springs, and that was beautiful. Then we went north. I wanted to see the Pacific Coast Highway. I had dreams of seeing the rocky you know, beaches and the cypress trees and the waves and it was freaking cold. And I mean, freaking cold. We had to go to a thrift store and buy some clothes to cover ourselves up with. And I got a cold. Uh, we went through Paso Robles on the way home. It was wonderful. Went to a vineyard. We wanted to go up the Pacific Coast Highway all the way, but we couldn't because of a mudslide. Uh, so I'm hoping in the future when I go see Rosemary in Fresno, that's not very far from those areas. I will be renting a car and we will be seeing a sequoia tree if it's the last thing I do. I'm a real tree hugger. In case y'all hadn't realized that, old growth forest really turned me on. I mean, there's something about it. all I want to do is be near nature. I want to see and feel um, the wonders and the majesty of the, the natural universe. It's it's really turned it's really something for me. So um, it was good. Uh, we didn't get into LA at all fine with it was okay it was fine i'd rather have seen a rocky a rocky craggy cliff and green rolling hills and california is quite a beautiful state so back in virginia 18 months out no gain on vacation or have already gone back down um i do have a question please anybody respond and i hope that this will get out i'd, I'd really like to hear some really honest input if you are at my time frame, 18 months, longer, anywhere around there, and you have not you have not regained or you feel like you succeeded in your journey, I want to know why you think. What is it about you? What is that little missing link that, that would tie all of us together in some way that would show what it was, that, why we succeeded at this endeavor when so many people you see are struggling? Um I'm very interested in what people think. What is it in, in that individual that made this work for them? Whether it's R&Y or, or sleeve or band. And the other question is, if anybody else is in maintenance for any length of time, six months, two years, or a year, a year of maintenance, two years, three years, have you managed to keep your weight down? Have you had more than a 10 pound gain? If you had a 10 pound gain, what do you think was the cause of the 10 pound gain? Was it getting more lax in your food, less exercise? Or do you think your metabolism just slowed up on you again and absorbed every calorie you ate? I'm really, really interested. No one talks about it. So um, that's it. Thanks very much for listening. I'm sorry it's eight minutes of really nothing fabulous to talk about, but I just want to say hey since I'm not around very much, and, but I'm good. I'm good. And um, Nicole did an awesome video dancing in her pajamas. And I'm going to do one of those tonight when my husband gets home and I put on my new pajamas that I bought for Vegas. So we'll see ya. And uh, you guys take care. Um, and thanks to all my new subs. I'm sorry I've, I, I don't really respond much or I don't know. This is kind of what happens when you get along in your way. But anything I can do to help, just write me a PM and, and I'll be glad to get back with you. Okay. You guys take care. I'll see you soon. And hey, I might have to do a kitchen video because I went to the grocery store. So maybe tomorrow I'll make some, some food in the kitchen for you. Bye, guys.